Hello everyone and welcome to another What's for Dinner on Weight Watchers. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you what we had for dinner this week on Weight Watchers, as well as giving you points and calories and macros for all these meals. I'll also have additional nutritional info down below, as well as the list of ingredients and instructions for the new recipe that I'm gonna be showing you this week. I did a couple of old favorite recipes also this week that I have previous videos on already. I will go ahead and link those down in the description box as well. And you will find all of that info that I mentioned for the new one in those videos description boxes. But let's jump in and see what we had for dinner this week on WW. First up is one skillet cheeseburger pasta. I love this one. It has a ton of flavor. And I also love the fact that it is kiddo friendly and a one skillet. I love the one skillets because as I always say, that just means less dishes. This starts off with a large skillet and to that I'm gonna add in a pound of 93% lean ground turkey. Now I always forget to say, you don't have to use ground turkey if you don't want. I use it all the time, but I do kind of forget that some people don't like it. So you can sub in for whatever type of ground meat you wanna use. Just for reference though, that turkey carries 17 points. So to that turkey, I'm gonna add in some chopped up bell pepper and onion, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper, and then I'm gonna cook all of that together until that turkey is browned and those veggies are softened. At that point, I'm gonna add in some minced garlic, let that cook in there for a minute or so. And then I'm gonna add in a can of diced tomatoes, some ketchup, mustard, and a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And then I'm gonna just stir everything together really well until it is well combined. Next up, I'm gonna add in some chicken broth, followed by some whole wheat noodles. I'm just using rotini. You can use whatever type you want. I kind of mix this up depending on what I've got on hand. I'm gonna stir that all together really well. And then I'm gonna just let this on a low heat simmer for 15 to 20 minutes, however long it takes for that pasta to soften. At that point, I'm gonna add in some cheese. This is what I'm using, reduced fat, sharp cheddar. You can get that at Kroger. I'm gonna mix that in real well until it is melted. And then that is all there is to this one. And here is dinner. I've got a sixth of the total of that, which is a little over a cup. And that is eight points. And then I'm just having a plain side salad here with a little bit of onion and some of this Panera at home poppy seed dressing. Now, when I first looked this up, it was coming up as a point. And I think that's what I have it as in my haul where I showed it. But when I entered it in for tonight's dinner, it's showing it as zero points. So we're gonna go with zero points for two tablespoons of that, which is gonna make my salad zero points, my pasta eight for a dinner total of eight points. And that poppy seed dressing is pretty good, by the way. Next up is taco soup. Now this one is definitely an old favorite of mine. It's probably one of the very first Weight Watcher recipes that I ever made actually. So I've been making this for over 12 years now and I really love it. It has a lot of flavor, but it's very simple, very easy to put together. It's also really filling. And the best part about it is it is a zero point soup. So definitely love this one. This one starts off with a large pot and to that you're gonna add some chopped up onion. Now I am using a non-stick pot. If you aren't, then you're gonna probably wanna add just a little bit of your chicken broth in with your onion at this point so that it doesn't stick. So you're gonna just cook that onion until it's slightly softened. And once those are softened, you're gonna just simply add in the rest of your ingredients, starting with some chicken broth, a can of black beans, a can of kidney beans, and a can of great northern beans. Now you can rinse and drain these if you want. I typically don't with this soup. Then I'm gonna add in two cans of petite diced tomatoes, a can of corn, I did drain that, and a can of fat-free refried beans. Then I'm gonna add in some taco seasoning, stir all this together really well, and just let it kind of cook or simmer 
for about 20, 30 minutes or until everything is nice and heated through and those refried beans are dissolved and incorporated. Then I'm gonna add in some fresh cilantro. I've got probably a half cup there and that's totally optional, but I'm gonna add that in and stir it in real well and let it cook another couple minutes or so. And then that is all there is to this one. And when my soup was almost done, I put this bread in the oven for about 10 minutes to heat it up. Just this La Brea Bakery Ancient Grain Bread, really good stuff. And then here is dinner. So that soup makes a lot. It makes about 18 one cup servings. I've got two here. And again, it's zero points, so zero points for the soup. I added a little bit of fat-free Greek yogurt to the top. You could do fat-free sour cream as well. Zero points for that. And then a little more fresh cilantro on top. So zero points for my soup total. And then there's a piece of that bread, which is a third of one of those loaves. And that is five points. I did add a little bit of this. I can't believe it's not butter spray to it for zero points. There's a nutrition info on that, zero calories. And so that was five points and zero points for my soup, made dinner total for tonight, five points. And then finally this week we tried out something new and that was honey mustard chicken. Now I looked at several different recipes for this and kind of just came up with my own based on what I was seeing online. And I think it turned out pretty well. We also had some roasted red potatoes with this. So this starts off with a 13 by nine inch casserole dish that I'm gonna just spritz with a little bit of olive oil. Then I'm gonna set that aside. And then here I've got three large chicken breasts. That's just over two pounds worth of chicken breasts. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut mine in half for a couple different reasons. One, they take forever to cook when they're that large. So that'll cut down on the cooking time. And then also it'll just give me six nice sized servings. So I'm gonna lay those evenly in my dish and then I'm gonna set that aside and work on my sauce. So for the sauce here in a medium sized bowl, I'm gonna add some of this Lakanto Golden. You could use whatever type of brown sugar alternative you want. And then I'm gonna add in a quarter cup honey, a couple tablespoons of olive oil, a third cup Dijon mustard, couple tablespoons of regular mustard, tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, a little bit of granulated garlic, parsley, and paprika. And then finally some freshly cracked black pepper, pinch of salt, and some minced garlic. And then I'm gonna just whisk that all together really well until it's fully incorporated. And then I'm gonna pour it on top of my chicken, kinda smooth that out so that the chicken is pretty much completely covered. And then I'm gonna bake this in my oven at 375 until that chicken reaches an internal temp of 165. So while that chicken is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and get my potatoes going. I've just got a pound and a half of petite red potatoes there. I'm gonna add some granulated garlic, some Italian seasoning, a little bit of freshly cracked black pepper, pinch of salt, and then a tablespoon of olive oil. And I'm gonna just mix that all together really well until those potatoes are nice and coated. And then in my air fryer, I'm gonna spritz it with a little bit of olive oil, pour my potatoes in and kind of smooth those out so that they've got some airflow going in there. And then I'm going to cook these at 400. And mine took 15 minutes to look like this. So back over at my chicken, that took about 35 minutes, but it is now done. Here is dinner. I've got one of those halves of chicken breast, which is a sixth of the total and five points for that. And then the potatoes, I just did a quarter of those, which ends up being probably over a cup or so. And those are four points. So four points for the potatoes, five for the chickens, gonna make dinner total for tonight, nine points. Okay, since this is new, we'll have my hubby give it a try. That was our dog, in case you're wondering. Flopping his flus. Flopping his flus. 
Mm, potatoes good? Yeah, I love yep. potatoes. I do too. It's hard to beat a potato. Hi, Rocky. Really nice seasoning. I love the size. That's just perfect. Of the potatoes? Yeah. Yeah, those little, I like those little petite ones. Mm -hmm. That's why you like me, huh? Yeah, because you're, you're very petite. How did you know? That was why. That I didn't overcook this time. I tend to overcook my chicken because I'm worried about mm. getting it all the way cooked. Well, the good thing is basically marinated. Yeah. Um, so it adds moisture to the whole thing. Good? Mm -hmm. Thoughts? Okay, so the chicken is five points for that. So the first impression is like, so when I buy breaded chicken strips, I love breaded chicken strips like at a restaurant mm -hmm. and I get honey mustard because I usually do get honey mustard. Mm -hmm. That's what that honey mustard reminds me of. Is like okay. what you would get at a restaurant. It, it's I'm really very that good. Up so we can show the inside maybe. Yeah, I got. And I'm not sure what's in there. And the, I mean, I may be totally off here, but there's just a, a slight bit of spice to that that wouldn't you wouldn't find in normally in honey mustard well it's got dijon which dijon has a little bit of a kick yeah it's got mostly dijon for the for the uh, mustard and then regular i think that's what i'm tasting is the dijon mm -hmm. probably yeah I, but i i like that okay gotta show the flowers you got really me. i mean moist and very flavorful okay good i took a bite already I haven't tried the potatoes, but I tried the chicken and I like it. Mm. Potatoes are good too, apparently. Mm -hmm. All right, so again, that is nine points for dinner tonight. Oh, totally. How many points for the roses? I have to show get? these. He got these for me yesterday, and I don't know if they're picking up on here. I tried to take a picture of them on my uh, phone. They're really dark red, and they don't look the color that they are on the camera in person. They're really pretty dark red. Anyway, all right guys, that was it. And I believe that was the end of our week. Well, it is the end of our week. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you as always for watching and we'll see you on the next one.